One year on from the Winter Olympics in Sochi and with new backing from UK lottery funding, the GB Park and Pipe team have a game plan for PY 2018. The next four years are going to be a roller coaster of training and contests as the team push their limits towards the start gates of Pyeongchang. It's early March 2015 and the global competition circuit is in full swing. Some of the team are in Park City, Utah for a World Cup event. This is a crucial part of their training. We're here in Park City for the Grand Prix and World Cup. Um, we're at the top of the slope style course, as you can see here. Sun's out, weather's perfect, can't ask for a better day. Katie Summerhays from Sheffield is no stranger to podium finishes on the World Cup and finished a solid seventh place on the Sochi Olympic slopestyle course. Joining Katie in the girls' ski slopestyle event is newcomer Isabel Atkin. US born but UK passport holder Izzy enters one of her first major contests in the resort she now calls home. For the skiing community, James Woodsy Woods needs little introduction. Like Katie, Woodsy is a graduate of Sheffield Dry Slope and went into the Sochi Olympics as one of the favourites to win gold, only to see those medal hopes dashed in a pre-contest injury. Meanwhile, in the snowboard slope style, 21-year-old Jamie Nichols has been competing since he first stood on a snowboard at the age of five. With a sixth place finish in the Sochi Olympics, Jamie has an incredible amount of experience and has taken his unofficial task of mentoring fellow Team GB member Ruan Kultas to heart. So Ron and I have the um, qualifications of the Grand Prix today. Hopefully we can land our runs and then qualify through to the finals on Friday. The two of them are taking the pressure off in their own unique way. They're ignoring it. After some solid practice runs in the two days running up to the event, the weather gods have thrown a curveball into the proceedings. And on the day of the contest, the conditions are wildly different. With the wind at full strength for the snowboard slope style finals, Roman's 13th place finish is a huge marker in one of his first World Cup events. With undoubtedly the most technical rail section of all the contestants, Jamie is almost guaranteed a good finish in the event. But with the wind picking up, his go-for-it attitude doesn't pan out well when his faultless technical top section hits a serious gust of wind. Experience tells Jamie to pull back. It's a wise move in the long term, but results in a 19th place finish for the lad from Bradford. We're back at the top of the slope style course here again today. It's the start of the qualifying for men and women, and we've currently got the women. Do it right this time. Do it right, do it right, do it right. Do it right. Do it right. I don't know, just a little bit, do it right. At just 20 years of age, Katie is one of the Park and Pipe team's brightest prospects. Easy. Another day on the job. Katie Summerhays. Having missed out on the last jumping qualification, Katie decides to go for it, but unfortunately wow. crashes out on the same trick on the same kicker. And with the weather worsening, Isabel puts down a solid, safe run within her limits and is rewarded for her tactical manoeuvre with her highest placing yet. That's it. Yeah, I'm just glad I landed. Really nervous up there. That's good. Wow. Really tough yeah. That's good. Well done. Uh, champ had a rough time, but the, the young woman was The grommet came had a good in. Day. Yeah. A veteran of the world's biggest contests, Woodsy is trying to put a run together based on how the judges appear to have been analysing the qualification run. We're up here for finals day, we got at it this morning and we had about an hour of uh, just mixing up the rail line, making sure I've got the speed for that first jump, you know, because it all links in feature by feature, so make sure everything's on point. The wind has died down, but fresh snow now means the course is running far slower than in the practice sessions. Oh, dropping in. Taking the coach's advice, Woodsy goes for points rather than glory. Our man from Sheffield gets the GB Park and Pipe team's highest ranking with a seventh place finish. 
Woodsy. Right double. Well for Woodsy. Woodsy. That's the Woodsy I know. Woodsy. You always stoked to see Woodsy out skiing. Just a rad guy. And what a story coming from the dry slopes to one of the best slope skiers in the world, you know. Next off, Europe. Where more training, more competitions, and the chance to hang out with the rest of the team, all away to the GB Park and Pipe team.